Section 12.8a is about simplifying mixed expressions. Just like you can have a fraction that's mixed, you can also have expressions that contain the sum of a monomial and a rational expression. For example, 2 and 3 fifths is a mixed fraction, and that means 2 plus the fraction 3 fifths. So just like you can have that, we can also have something like this, a mixed expression that has a number plus a fraction that's made up of a, a rational expression because it has variables in addition to subtraction signs. Now how would you put those two together? Well what you would do is you'd make this a 3 over 1 and then add it to 6 over x plus 3. And now, just like always, you'd have to have common denominators. Well the least common denominator between a 1 and an x plus 3, and I'll put this over here just to stay consistent, but you probably should be able to figure that out, is x plus 3. So what can you multiply this fraction by to give you the x plus 3 on the bottom? The answer is x plus 3 over itself. We'll now distribute this 3 on top. So 3x plus 9, and then we'll add 6 to that. And it will be over the common denominator of x plus 3 that we created. So continuing to simplify, 3x plus 15 over x plus 3. If I pull a 3 out to check and see if I can cancel anything, I'm left with an x plus 5, which is over x plus 3. That doesn't really help me at all, so this is an okay answer. Here's another example of simplifying a mixed expression. Make the 3 a 3 over 1, and then rewrite. So you're looking at a common denominator or an LCD of x minus 2, because you take every factor the maximum number of times that it appears. Now I'm going to multiply this by x minus 2 to create the denominator that I want. And it's very similar to the last one, 3x minus 6. Then we add the 7, and we put that all over the common denominator of x minus 2. So 3x plus 1 over x minus 2.